land of the free and the home of the brave. Jamaica military band session and the United States will try to get it to Altidore at the top. Alvas Powell gets the first touch. The youngster, 18 years old, played in the under 17 World Cup, was part of the under 20 World Cup qualifiers and now a member of the senior uh, Jamaica national team here at the National Stadium in Kingston. You hear the Vuvuzelas in the background. It's a Friday evening here at the National Stadium. 8.30 start. Great night, as we said, for football of Brian Woodbine back to Adrian Mariapa. The man who was, when his team was demoted from the English Premier League, playing for Reading, started, uh, played for Watford for a long time. Now at Reading, this is Daniel Gordon. He's looking for a pass. They tell him to go back to the goalkeeper. He comes all the way across again to Mariapa. Dempsey comes close, doesn't get it. Now Brian Woodbine gets it and gives it up. Here comes the United States. Number 19 is Graham Susi. And that's a, a beautiful ball to the far side. Seems to be Jermaine Jones going all the way across. And it now comes to Altidore. Back to Jones. Dempsey to the back post. He doesn't get it. This is DeMarcus Beasley. Bradley is a pretty decent player. Plays in Italy. This comes across again to Susi. He needs a good cross here. It's not a bad one. But uh, the Jamaicans win it and it goes back. Um, Dempsey almost had a chance and here's a chance oh Bradley very unlucky Dempsey again goes to the back post Alvas Powell needs to get there and he does and the referee says it's a foul against Jermaine Jones well up against the post yes um, good, good effort there early attack again by the USA most like the last game ball bubbling around and a good drive from just about 20 three yards Ricky goes to ground as you see here's a replay on screen ball cleared out from the center bubbling for him in the D firm drive right footed onto that right far post that post has been good to Ricketts and Jamaica here it is again bouncing away from Ricketts hits the post dead on comes across the face and then Dempsey goes and tries to play it across again right footed and Ricketts gets some attention and I think just calming down the game that's not, for a bit. That's not good news for the coaching staff. I, I suspect um, the, immediately the reserve goalkeeper Dwayne Miller will get up until they find out how badly hurt he is. And, uh, ball. That time Dempsey put it home from about 10 yards closer to the goal. Ryan Johnson still doesn't get his first touch. Susie gets it back in defense to Bradley Evans he plays it all the way back to Omar Gonzalez he goes to the far side this is Bradley I have a lot of time for that player pretty decent player ball played through for Altidore it's a good touch there from Mariapa and now again it goes to the far side Alvaro Paul will have his work cut out for him tonight I'm sure they're going to pick on him tonight here's an opportunity another shot and goal another save from Ricketts close down and they're building on one side and hitting it out on the far side and that other players are coming and the Jamaican team um, under a little bit of attack but an open game early we hope to see this continue you heard Jurgen Klinsmann said they came and watched the game against Mexico they would have known that the the young man playing for the first time at right back is only 18 years old they would have seen Salcido going by him to cross that ball that ended up in the back of the net. Here's Daniel Gordon. And it seems so far that they've decided to, to pick on young Alvaro Paul and a couple of attacks have come down that side. I thought he played pretty decently. And I'm sure the hope tonight, this is Johnson, is that he will play well again. Powell beaten upfield. Clint Dempsey comes for it. Altidore back to Dempsey. Here comes the United States. 
Susi is on the far side. Dipsy gets inside the box. A chance here. It's Alva's foul that comes all the way back. And a foul to Oh, he Jamaica. gives a corner. He gives a corner. Yeah, it should have been a foul, as you said, but it's just before that defender tracking back was... Was, um, was top two goal. Goal. Yeah. Yeah. Come the, the ball well, yeah. left is for his goalkeeper. Good defending. You see him here playing it into the part of his goalkeeper and tripped yeah. is Das Dempsey. And again, trying to hustle, jostle, and get the youngster all ruffled. Corner kick number one. Two Actually, it, 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 it did look like he, he really does trip and he, he really wasn't fouled. So maybe a good call by Mr. Salazar. Here's the corner. Comes all the way out. Ryan Johnson, who came all the way back for, to help put the corner, gets it to Austin. Austin tried to get it to Jermaine uh, Johnson. Ball won by the United States. Alvis Paul will get the throw. So the supporters coming in still. And I like the vibe that the, the supporters were in the, the stadium when they military band was playing they started singing they they got into it and they had their own moment Elliot oh Elliot almost gives it up to Graham Susie the ball is played long again Ryan Johnson gets it can Jermaine Johnson get it this they started up front against Mexico here's Jermaine Teddy Johnson with the ball and he runs into trouble and Bradley will come away with the ball but oh Johnson fights back for it that's good stuff and then he loses possession again then he gets it back <laughs> he's he's working hard he should be tired after that well that's good that's what we want to see the hustle the grind the the, the pressure on and the two forwards working in tandem lost the ball twice but Jermaine Johnson adding some experience and some skill and some hustle and that's what we want here Woodbine with the throw seems to be going along with it O'Brien Woodbine he does go long. The goalkeeper stays home. An opportunity here. I thought Tim Howard should have come for that. That ball was coming from maybe 35 yards away. He had time to come and pick it up. He decided to allow his defenders to deal with it. They didn't deal with it confidently. And the first shot by Jamaica. Rolof Austin. Well, that's a new sign. We have seen two throwings, one long, one short. Rudolf Austin getting inside the 18-yard box. First attempt, a cracking shot at goal, off target, but the intent is clear. Jamaica will be a bit more aggressive and assertive, high up the field in attack tonight. Tim Howard. Here's a throw-in again from Woodbine. And Gonzalez really just lucky to stick out a foot and get a touch on there under pressure. Here's Susie. Dempsey calls for it. Now he gives it to Clint Dempsey. He's brought down. Mr. Salazar says play on. Austin comes away with it. Gets himself in trouble and now Dempsey fights back for the ball. Altidore is at the back post. He goes across to Altidore. It's won by Daniel Gordon. So Dempsey working hard. Lost possession. Got the ball back. And not a bad cross but Altidore the only player inside the box at the time. And Daniel Gordon had an easy header. No one challenged for that ball. And the uh, United States will get the throw it's going to be taken by Bradley Evans three players inside the box and you want to head it up not down but luckily the Jamaicans come away with it Jermaine Johnson can't get possession Elliot will come across he can't get it here's Evans with the ball this is Bradley offside could be shown a card the whistle had gone So a good first nine minutes of high activity by both teams in attack, in possession, and defensive. Here's Mariapa. Brian Woodbine goes all the way back. Mexico after four games, six points. Panama after three games, five points. Costa Rica, United States, Honduras after three games, four points. And here comes the, the Jamaicans now, and a, ch a chance here again, but maybe not an opportunity, but Jermaine Johnson causing some um, concern. I won't use the word problems just yet, but some concern with his pace. And the Jamaican team after four games, two points. I told you, the last game we did, that after four games in the 1998 World Cup qualifier, 
The Jamaicans had one point. So they're ahead of the game. Beasley. Johnson on the far side. Back to DeMarcus Beasley. Clint Dempsey. I think it was Klinsman who said probably the best United States player, Clint Dempsey. Good for him to say that just ahead of his big game. Yep. That's a moral booster he's trying there. Yep. Second leading goal scorer. That one played into touch by Mariapa. Ten minutes gone into the first half here at the National Stadium on a beautiful looking surface. Heard a United States commentator uh, saying that when you go to Jamaica, it's like you play on a parking lot, he said. There's no grass on the field. <laughs> well, there you go. They this have is so much things to say, don't yeah, they? Yeah, well, this is a, a nice parking lot. I wouldn't mind parking on this place. It's nice. Altidore, Dempsey, Jermaine. Jermaine Jones. Jones gives them all away. Almost said Johnson. There's a lot of Jermaine's on the field. <laughs> yeah, and a couple on the bench. <laughs> Daniel Gordon will take the kick. Here's Donovan Ricketts, the only player in the national squad who would have been part of the squad when the Jamaicans went to the World Cup back in 1998. His brother, now a, a coach here in Jamaica. One of three football brothers. Yep. Jermaine Hugh. He's not had too much influence on the game thus far. Here he is again. A grand wood line goes well. First touch is a good one. Second one is a good second touch is a good one. This is Garth McCleary. Runs into some trouble. Gets it back to Austin. He will go for goal from here, I'm sure he does. Should have been that effort from McCleary. Got into a good central position. Just about 24, 25 yards from goal. And he had an uh, uh, indecision moment again, much like earlier this week, as we look Austin on the ball here from probably about 26 yards out and driving way off target, dragged that shot, never got it on. But again, the attempt from Austin is clear. The Marcus Beasley, Fabian Johnson is broken up again, going down that left hand side. Truth be told, it might be equal because they've been coming down the right-hand side a couple of times also. DeMarcus Beasley with the throw for the United States. Well, that's the lure. They come to the right to pull everybody, isolate Albus And then they go back and to one the left. And one-on-one. Yeah. DeMarcus Beasley overlap earlier with his feet. Didn't get the ball on yeah. that occasion. Yeah. This is Dempsey. We're in the captain's armband tonight. As we said, five Americans who lost that game in September last year. Three Jamaicans played in that game. It's interesting if I tell you the other Jamaicans who played in that game. Um, Dwayne Miller kept goal. Here comes the United States once again. Sam is going to be a foul against Austin. Laying down his marker. It's that's, be, that's what we need to see. Yep. The referee had a quiet word with him, but here it is, number seven. So clearing it and telling them, telling them saying all that you're in a game today. That was against Jones. Yep. So Dwayne Miller, Nosworthy played, he's hurt. Taylor played, he's hurt. Jason Morrison played. Not certain where he is right now. Here comes Altidor. And uh, Mariapa, I thought, was going to shield that one into touch. He chose not to. Lovell Palmer played in that game. Javon Watson, who started against Mexico, played in that game also. This is Susie for the United States. Gets it back to Evans. Evans, again, the United States keeping possession. Evans will get the ball back here. There was a time quite recently where we all thought that the Americans were quite mechanical. I think they play with a lot more flair now, and they're a pretty decent team, as we said, ranked number 28 to the world. The Jamaicans uh, came down from 52 a couple of days ago to 49. Interestingly, Brazil at their lowest point ever, number yes. 22. And they led the world for so many years. Yes, well, there they you go. Play. Things are changing. Uh, Kevin Bryan played in that game. And Luton Shelton not only played but scored uh, a free kick in that game. So all those players not here tonight. This is O'Brien Woodbine. He wasn't here last September. And he's played um, against Mexico. Tried to get it to Ryan Johnson. So they've, they've kept the Jamaican attack pretty quiet so far, the Americans. So far, although Jamaican has had two shots, two attempts on goal from Rudolf Austin on both occasions. Here are Whitmore.
again the USA at the back. Susie would have been in an offside position. Elliot gets it to Woodbine. Uh, plays it through for Jermaine Hugh. Nice touch to Gareth McCleary. Here's McCleary, has some pace, but he does need to get it across goal. Two Jamaicans at the back post. Here it comes. The header doesn't come off, come off, and it goes to Fabian Johnson. But good build up, good transition, good delivery. Jermaine Johnson had a sniff. Easy to Bradley. His father was the coach of the United States when he started to play for the United States. No longer there. Omar Gonzalez with the ball. And now this is Bradley Evans. Again, as you heard Clyde Giordini uh, say just now, they start on the right-hand side. They isolate Alvis Paul. They try to get it to Fabian Johnson as they did just now. Daniel, uh, Donovan Ricketts said, I'll take that one before it goes all the way across. This is Adrian Mariapa. Good to see Jamaican passing out from the back and making more passes. Woodbine high once more. Woodbine has gone above the half line three times so far. Good to see him there in position and throwing for Jamaica just about the corner flat. And the crowd wondering what's going on. Woodbine won't go long this time. Back to McCleary. Inside to Jermaine Hugh. Teddy Johnson. Here's Jermaine Johnson. We'll have a shot! Alphas Powell needs to get it across. Good block from Tim Howard. The United States will clear their lines. But certainly hit powerfully by Jermaine Johnson. Tim Howard did the right thing. So here is number eight, Teddy Johnson, making his mark at torrid right foot drive. Dead center, comfortable height for Tim Howard, but has a lot of pace on it. And he did the right thing, double fist is the way. Jamaica once again. I suspect Woodbine will take it once again. Ryan Johnson heads to the middle of the, uh, the goal. Woodbine doesn't take it. McCleary gets it to Jermaine Hugh. Still Hugh with the ball. Almost got away with it. No call by Mr. Salazar. This is Matthew Elliott, the man who has scored the only goal for Jamaica in four games and 17 minutes of World Cup qualifying action. Here's Jermaine Johnson. Oh, he showed some peace. Get some pace gets by um, Demarcus Beasley but the cross to the back post falls to no one and a good driving effort and again they attempt and you saw quickly Beasley has pace but not defensive skill trying to tackle when he was not in position and a good have uh, it is again the replay German Teddy Johnson right footed shot from 24 yards and the double fisted attempt hitting it just to the edge of the 18 yard box by Tim Howard all the players come over to the grandstand side, which is where the ball is at. Dempsey to Fabian Johnson. Johnson to Jermaine Jones. Tried to get it to Demarcus Beasley. The sign said it's that good. Well, that certainly was a good play. And Alphas Paul will come away with it. Must be a, a dream come true for the for the youngster. Must be a dream come true for all the players who are playing in a World Cup qualifier. Can you imagine how far they could take that dream if they get to the World Cup? Brian well, this, uh, McCleary to Jermaine Hugh, the maestro with the ball, keeps possession, maybe a little bit too much, Matthew Elliott, well done Mariapa, I don't know why I wanted to change Marvin's name to Matthew, it's Marvin, Marvin Elliott. Elliott, here is Adrian Mariapa, Austin, Goes long to Teddy Johnson. Business there, too long for Teddy Johnson. But a good attempt by, by Austin to get them into the wide areas. His initial pass was too low and got blocked in mid pass but his second and third attempts, much better. Altidore doesn't get it. Gordon does. He keeps it in. Ricketts. Mariapa is close. I'm sure we'll give it to him. He does. Woodbine to his left. Elliot has come for it. Dempsey is close, so he probably won't give it to Elliot. Should keep the ball moving. This is Jones. Broken up to by Jermaine Hugh. Austin. And the crowd wanted him to pass that ball a little quicker than he did. This is Johnson. Poor pass, and Brandy breaks it up. Beasley. 
will go long to Altidore. Josie Altidore loses possession. Elliot to O'Brien Woodbine. The crowd urging the Jamaicans to go forward. Here's McCleary. Back to Jermaine Hugh. Wanted to go all the way across. Deflected ball is blocked. And Omar Bradley will come away with it to Josie Altidore. He's uh, on the ball knocked there. over. The referee says play. play on. No problem. Here's Elliot once again. Alvis Powell. Austin. Much better position from Jamaica. Brian Woodbine. He had it. Jamaica will get the corner. He decided to allow it to go across, but maybe had he run a little bit more, he would have got the ball. But it's a corner kick to Jamaica. Jermaine Hugh. The crowd loving it so far. Two point shot for the corner kick. Hugh. Along with Austin. Here comes Jermaine Hugh. Foul to the United States. Ryan Johnson. Daniel Gordon comes in that foul. Going forward. But Jamaica, 22 minutes on the clock. Much more assertive. Here's the corner kick again. The left foot of Jermaine Hugh coming to the near post. And the infringement made the foul call. Howard with the kick. Tim Howard who will have a, a new coach next year. It is again floated. And Gonzalez, the tall 24-year-old, getting it ahead of Ryan Johnson, and clearing it. Back to live action here at the National Stadium. Ball given up. That's Bessler, Matthew Bessler. It comes back to Omar Gonzalez. This is Jermaine Jones. Susie. Dempsey Leon. wanted him to leave it, but he, he didn't leave it and he earns a, a free kick to his team. <laughs> Offside is the call. Donovan Ricketts will do this himself. Mariapa. So the Jamaicans looking quite comfortable. Woodbine with a nice touch. He gets the pass from Garth McCleary. Tries to go across goal. This might be tricky for Howard. It isn't in the end. So the, the last time the, these two teams met here at the National Stadium, in just two seconds, in 23 minutes, we would have had two goals. Here is Susie. We don't have any yet. Goes to the back post. Albus Powell just chipped off the, the head, and Altidore takes the throw very quickly. Gets it back to DeMarcus Beasley. So we told you the first goal in that game scored after just 40 seconds. Second in that game was scored on the 23rd, right? free kick from which Austin. Is, which is his rise after 23 minutes. We would have seen two goals already. This is Jermaine Jones. That's a, a look of a clean Dempsey. Same body type. Bradley. And that's into touch. So the, the Jamaican back for the Albertas just holding their line, not allowing those run into the, the space. And the Jamaican team playing much more compact at the start of this game. Jamaica, Fredo Montesso, the technical director, going forward just now. Here's Jermaine Yu. Tries to get it to Jermaine Johnson. The Marcus Priestley realized that he was under some pressure, didn't fool around. Mr. Salazar tells us the throw will go to Jamaica. Ryan Johnson decides to leave it for Brian Woodbine. He's taken them long for the most part. Johnson goes to the box. That's correct. Johnson 
Ryan Johnson inside the box. Jermaine Johnson just at the top of the box. The ball is going to be cleared, or it is cleared by the United States. Dempsey helps out, gets it to Altidore. Susie to Jermaine Jones. This is Bradley. Beasley is free on the far side. Demarcus Beasley. Back to Omar Bradley. Now this is Omar Gonzalez and Jermaine Jones. So the Jamaicans getting behind the ball. And not chasing it. Trying to hold the formation and the structure. As long as they can. This is Bradley once again. Again the Jamaicans will allow this and now they will want to see if they could get the ball. Mariapa will allow this one to go behind and the score remains 0-0. So Jamaican team in case you've just joined us. Donovan Ricketts, Daniel Gordon, O'Brien Woodbine, Marvin Elliott, Alvis Powell, Jermaine Johnson, the only change from the last game. Ryan Johnson, Rudolph Austin, Jermaine Hugh, Adrian Mariapa and Gareth McCleary and the United States they started with Tim Howard in goal Omar Gonzalez Michael Bradley Matthew Desla Bradley Evans here comes Jamaica that's not what you want to see DeMarcus Beasley Clint Dempsey is the captain Jermaine Jones Josie Altidore Graham Susie and Fabian Johnson and a very good shot from Jermaine Johnson followed a good save by Tim Howard the United States who hit the post earlier. So a couple of opportunities in front of the goal. Here's Grant McClary with the ball. He's trying to get the better of Evans. Susie comes all the way back. And it seems to be a kick to Jamaica. Mr. Salazar said, but they're saying right call, Mr. Red. Here he is, the man from Panama, the official from Panama. That the foul from Jermaine Jones and the free kick to be taken by Jermaine Hugh. So the rules are at least 10 yards. The referee could put you 20. It says at least 10. Five Jamaicans inside the box. Hugh goes to the back post. Too long. Overhit. Is Beasley Bradley Gordon gets it then he gives it back to Beasley under no pressure at all the coach won't like that one here's Dempsey Fabian Johnson Dempsey all over the park back inside to Johnson here comes the United States Altidore is free this is Josie Altidore Dempsey's offside and the flag goes up. That, that's a, that outside call must just have been a few meters because the entire defensive line was, was retracking. But good to see the tracking back and Powell clearing out. Kick for Jamaica just at the edge of the 18-yard box. Here good it is call. again, that man in the offside position. You see clearly on your screen there, a yard or two behind, but cut out by the defenders nonetheless. Mariapa broken up by the United States again Mariapa against it to Austin the number 17 clash get the crowd they, they work for the referee they think the referee wouldn't have seen that as soon as he held on to the shirt everyone starts to tell the referee to go to me so here's Jermaine Hugh this is beautifully played across the draft McCleary McCleary with the ball still McCleary Use oh, that left stuff from the ferry. Goes to the back post, or he doesn't get to the back post. Easy for Tim Howard. Good idea. Good idea. Good movement. But his left foot again, McCleary. They're showing some measure of doubt. Here's Finn Dempsey. Susie. Jermaine Jones. Back to Susie. But Brian Woodbine comes close. You want to cut the cross down. Susie does well. Does well to get the cross to Altidore! That's Almost the, the same way the goal was scored against Mexico. A good cross from Graham Susie 
Josie Altidore all by himself in front of Donovan Ricketts, who had absolutely no chance, folks. And in the 30th minute here at the National Stadium, the United States go ahead, 1-0. Well, here's the number 19, Graham Zussi, teasing him. Um, would buy an out of slot and a good cross, and that's what they're waiting for. Four yards away from goal, and Altudo is not gonna miss. Here comes the right footed cross, floated, and again the attackers get inside their defender and left wanting. Here's a cross, jumping unprotected. The number five Alva Spoil looking around him, but the man is inside him, and the goal is in favor of USA. USA one. Jamaica zero. 30 minutes got in the game and you know the goal was scored in the 48th against Mexico but it was from the left hand side this time it comes from the right hand side but the player in the same spot inside the number nine the Negris was there now it's the number 17 Altidor right in front of Donovan Ricketts and he had no chance here's Ryan Johnson the Jamaicans responded beautifully against Mexico didn't get a goal but maybe 10 12 minutes after that goal yes. there they really went down against mexico had some opportunities and didn't get it done but uh, let's hope that they will respond the same way they get a corner here the united states won beautifully headed ball and the coaches will tell you if you're heading defensively you head it up here it comes chance here for jamaica jermaine jones it looks like got that header on it's going to be a throw to jamaica so the coaches will tell you if you're heading defensively, head it up. If you're going for goal, head it down. That was brilliantly done, even though he was all by himself. But that's what you want to see from your center forward. Alvas Powell will take the throw for Jamaica. Headed back out by Bessla. Jermaine Hugh inside to Jermaine Johnson. Leaves it for Austin. Austin will go left footed. Oh, had two, three players in front of him. Needed to just go for a simple one, two around the box. Went for the kick a bit too early and uncertain left-footed kick goes high. No problem to Tim Howard in USA's goal. So 30 minutes or the 30th minute. one nothing to the United States. In September last year it would have been 1-1. No, the United States did score first in that game. But they scored in the first minute. And the Jamaicans tied it up and then went ahead and won the game. It was a World Cup qualifier right here at the office. Jamaicans then and uh, not a pretty sight well it's not over yet it's not over yet the United States now on four points from three games the Jamaicans on two points from four games you get three points to win you get one to draw the Jamaicans need to leave here with something here comes the United States once again this is Jermaine Jones with the ball DeMarcus Beasley inside to his captain Clint Dempsey here comes the United States again comes across goal this is Susie they're calling for a penalty Mr. Salazar say play on Jones it's blocked Susie gets it back and now it's cleared out by Jamaica but the United States come away with it Michael Bradley with the ball goes to the back post tries to get it to Altidore the goal scorer he doesn't Susie is there this is Josie Altidore played for the United States when he was 17 years old the senior level United States with the blue top Altidore won't get this one I don't think Usain Bolt will get it but maybe he would so pensive look on the face of the concerned Jamaican supporters the first half guys still a lot of time but Brian Woodbine gives up possession Jones now it comes to Graham Susie. This is Bradley Evans. Now they no call again, says Mr. Salazar, and that one is given away. Throw to Jamaica. So the officials, three from Panama, one from Nicaragua. Mr. Raul Mujica is the assistant referee number one, which means he's on the back side, Daniel Williamson. Is from Panama on the far side, Mr. Mujica from Nicaragua. And John Pitti, the fourth official, also from Panama. So the Jamaicans have not played badly. Here is the technical director, Alfredo Montesso. 
interestingly, the technical director, but the assistant coach to Theodore Whitmore. So his boss and his assistant at the same time. Here's the Marcus Beasley. Jermaine Jones. You play differently depending on the score. So 0-0, zero, zero, you might be a little bit nervous. You go in front, you play with a little bit more confidence. If you're down, then you play with a little bit more urgency, I suspect. And at this moment, USA just trying to possess the ball, dictate the tone of the game, the direction, and to keep Jamaica from getting an, a, a possessive rhythm and into attack to push their lead towards halftime. In the United States, 58% to possession so far. They have more of the ball. But they, the Jamaicans have not been outplayed, truth be told. The Americans would have hit the post, and now they have the goal. The only real important statistic is the score, isn't it? And now the United States, they are in front one nothing, So they're playing with a lot more confidence, a lot more confidence, a lot more ease. Here's Fabian Johnson, broken up by Jamaica. This is Jermaine Johnson to Gareth McCleary, also plays at Reading with Adrian Mariapa and Joby Makinoff, who's not here. Johnson, Woodbine, Hugh, Mariapa to McCleary, doesn't keep it in. Jurgen Klinsmann urging on his players. The World Cup winner as a player came third in the World Cup as a coach and now trying to qualify the United States to the World Cup only eight teams have won the World Cup I told you in the last game one team has already qualified Japan they're the first team to qualify they join Brazil as the host country the host country you don't need to qualify if you're the host McCleary Beasley has his hands full with Jermaine Johnson's speed so far, he's been able to ensure that Johnson doesn't hasn't hurt his team. Woodbine, Daniel Gordon, just his second game, well his third game for Jamaica, played against Tottenham in a friendly game. Oh, good move! But his second official game plays in Germany. It was part of the Borussia Dortmund setup. No longer. And that's going to be a throw uh, to Jamaica. Woodbine, I'm sure, will take it. So Austin again goes for the search in 40, 45 yard diagonal pass from Mc Garrett McCleary, but his control with his first cross was left wanted. Offside. So Costa Rica playing Honduras at the same time, Mexico playing Panama. Six teams. Three will automatically qualify for the World Cup. The fourth team will play off. It seems to be against New Zealand. I'm sure the Jamaicans will, if you told them at the start that you will come forth, they would take it. Here's Austin. Johnson. Austin goes for the run. It's beautiful to play. Chance here for Jamaica. It's going to be cleared by the United States. Beautifully played by Ryan Johnson. Austin got the return pass. Beat the goalkeeper, Tim Howard. But the post was there. Here comes Beasley. Antidor. Here comes the United States. Could have easily been 1-1. One, one. So, the United States hit the post. Jamaica hit the post. But you don't get points for that. You get the crowd a little excited. And everyone says, could have been, should have been, maybe if. But it just doesn't go in. And the score stays 1-0. Here's Jermaine Jones. Susie came for it and he played it in the space where he thought Susie was going to. Here it is again. Austin teeing up to Ryan Johnson and turns back, puts it over. Austin slides to hit the post. Here comes Jamaica again in live action. Chance here! And, and we were, the live play just interrupting the replay and both occasions, Jamaica on the attack. This time, what you didn't see on screen was a floated cross from Jamaica into the path of German Johnson. Here it is, German Hugh into the path of German Johnson and he kicks it on the volley and goes just high over the crossbar. The 30th minute goal, the difference 
here at the National Stadium in Kingston. We welcome you to our coverage. I'm Neville Bell with me, the former national player, Clyde Giardini. And foul on the play. Oh, they say Jermaine Johnson was holding. holding or pushing. And the assistant on the far side, Mr. Williamson, picked it up. Put the flag up and referee Mr. Salazar says, well, I saw the flag. Let me blow the whistle. Then he goes to Jermaine Johnson and says, well, we saw that, son. Calm down. We haven't seen any cards yet. No, and just, just saying to Teddy Johnson, don't kick the ball after I blow the whistle. Or probably next time I'll issue a caution. So Austin scored a free kick against the United States the last time they played here back in September. From a foul committed by Beckerman. Not at all in the squad today. And almost got an open field goal. Here's Michael Bradley. Altidore. Beasley makes a run. Oh, Alpha Sport read that one. Then the Jamaicans give up possession too easily for that. Omar Gonzalez lays it into touch. I think Bradley made the wrong selection. Had, had Beasley wide and clear outside on the left. Tried to thread the needle inside, didn't Jermaine Hugh and Jamaica with the ball. Tim Howard would have played a, a couple of times against Garth McCleary or Garth McCleary's team this year. Howard, the goalkeeper for Everton, told you he lost his coach. David Moyes has gone to Manchester United. Sir Alex Ferguson retiring. In case you were somewhere where you never had any TV or radio or anything, you didn't in hear a, all that. In a cave. <laughs> Seems like the, the Wigan coach. Function tackle here from Rudolf Austin. And himself and Elliot has been very active, very aggressive, and tracking players in the midfield and, and making tackles. They weren't doing it earlier this week against Mexico and allowed the other team to just knock the ball around and settle there on top of their game. You see USA with the ball in the league. I've just uh, Tell you that uh, the Wigan coach might be heading to Everton. We will see. United States comfortable with the ball. Jurgen Klinsmann, Theodore Whit Whitmore, both in their technical area. Technical area, the area just before the bench. The coaches are allowed to traverse. Here is Jermaine Jones. Got a little mixed up with Clint Dempsey. Elliot comes away with it to Jermaine Hugh. This is who for pass as he finds Ryan Johnson. Johnson back to Marvin Elliott. Elliott to Rudolf Boston on the far side. Here comes Jamaica. Alvas Powell makes the overlapping run. Needs a cross. It's not a bad one, but it's broken up. And the United States will come away through Altidore to Johnson to Beasley. Back to Fabian Johnson. Not a whole lot of time left before we get the halftime whistle. Again, the sign says it's that good. Probably good for the United States right now. Here's Elliot once again. Again, the only man to score in the World Cup qualifiers. McCleary would love to be the, the next person to score. Oh, he does well to keep possession. He still has possession. And now the Jamaicans will get the call. McCleary, very lucky for this. Lost the ball on a couple of occasions. Had passes use the ball as we see two Jamaican substitutes warming up but in the end one of three kick here it is again McLeary number 22 on the screen dragging pushing losing it losing possession asking about it, the ball three and the lunging tackle from Ryan Johnson and the free kick to Jamaica Austin over the ball. and I'm reminded that Martinez has been confirmed as the Everton coach so there you go maybe I was in the game Will of Boston will take the free kick. Thought that took a deflection there, Bertis, but none of the officials have signaled it, or is the linesman, the assistant, the referee assistant on the right, walking? No, he's not. He has put the flag in his left hand. Goal kick to USA. There was a time that they were called linesmen. They actually are linesmen because they run the line. Yes, but, but they're also assistant referees because they assist the referee. Correct. Two minutes of time to, um, uh, uh, to be added on, we're told. 
there was a story about this referee, the, the linesman that had the flag up. The referee didn't see him and he kept it up. Eventually the referee ran across and told him, you're here to assist, not to insist. Put the flag back down if I don't see it. Well, there you go. Now the referees can communicate with each other. So if the referee doesn't see it, they could talk and say, well, look at that. Here's Jermaine Hugh. Austin. Jamaican's not played badly. This man brought out a good save from Tim Howard. Austin hit the post. So did the United States. But as we come on 45 minutes, they have the lead. Ball played for Jermaine Johnson. Back to Jermaine Hugh. Almost. Here's a chance. Blocked. That was McCleary with the shot. Beasley will clear his lines. Ergen Klinsman might be a little bit nervous now. You certainly don't want to give up a goal at this time in the game. Mexican scored just after the break. A couple of days ago here at the National Stadium. Here's Austin. Johnson alone at the back post. No one else inside the box for Jamaica. Beasley doesn't do very well with the ball. So, just about a... Look at that. He's very concerned. That fan. Hugh. Albus Paul again does well. Gets it to Gareth McCleary. McCleary. And Elliot, who scored a header against Panama, tried to do the same here for Jamaica. But we saw what happened. So we're almost at half time. 30th minute goal by Josie Altidor. A header across from Graham Susie. And a clean and beautiful header. Donovan Ricketts had absolutely no chance. All the players come over to the right-hand side because that's where the ball is. And Mr. Salazar.